story to tell. The S-61 helicopter is perhaps one of the most successful rotary aircraft ever built. And the Westland Sea King is the British license built version of the famous Sikorsky, built by Westland Helicopter, now Leolato. The Sea King is known primarily as an anti-submarine warfare helicopter. It also operates in the Royal Navy as search and rescue version, commando lift version, and AEW, then airborne surveillance and control version. At the height of the Cold War, the Sikorsky SH-3 naval helicopters were quietly used and successfully assumed many drones on water. In response to the submarine fleet of the Soviet Navy, the Royal Navy was forced to modernize its surface ships to deal with threats underwater. This also led to an increase in the anti-submarine warfare role of naval helicopters. As a replacement for the Westland Wessex anti-submarine helicopter, the Royal Navy chose the Sea King a version of the Westland Helicopters anti-submarine helicopter licensed to be manufactured by Sikorsky Aircraft. The Royal Navy helicopter was designated Westland WS-61 Sea King. The Westland Sea King first took to the skies in 1969. Over the course of the last five decades, the aircraft has proven to be trustworthy and reliable and has seen service with the UK Ministry of Defence and eight international operators, with over 340 aircraft being delivered. It has not only stood the test of time, but has bridged the gap to the latest generation AW101 helicopter. Compared with the US SH3 Sea King, the Westland WS61 Sea King is significantly different. It was equipped with Rolls Royce Gnome engines, British made anti submarine warfare systems, and fully computerized flight control systems. The helicopter is 17 meters long, 5.13 meters high, empty weight of 6.37 tons, and maximum takeoff weight is 9.7 tons. The British helicopter was designed with a watertight hull. A unique ability of the Sea King is that it can land on water thanks to its buoys with floating bags. Westland Sea King is operated by a crew of two to four people, depending on the mission. As a naval helicopter, the Sea King features the tail and the main rotor blades are folded for storage on naval ships. The helicopter is powered by two Rolls Royce H14002 Norm turboshaft engines producing 1,660 horsepower each. Seeking can reach a top speed of 207 km per hour, a range of 1,230 km, a rate of climb of 10.3 meters per second. In its anti-submarine warfare role, the Westland Sea King is armed with four Mark 44, Mark 46 or Stingray torpedoes, or four depth traps. Expert versions can carry Sea Eagle or Exocet missiles for anti-shipping duties. Also, this helicopter 
has provision for various door-mounted machine guns. On upgraded versions, this helicopter has improved anti shimmering warfare equipment and has provision to use sonar buoys. A popular variant of the Sea King is the HC-4, also known as the Westland Commando. It is an astron transport helicopter used by the Royal Navy Fleet Air Arm. This helicopter has an elongated cabin, which can carry 28 troops. It was originally developed for the Egyptian Air Force, so its undercarriage is simplified. Its amphibious capability was eliminated, so the side flaws were no longer needed. Due to its wide range, the HC-4 Commando became an important asset for amphibious warfare and troop transport duties, in particular. On British service, the Sea King HC-4 was deployed in operations in the Falklands, Balkans, and in the Gulf War, Sierra Leone, Lebanon, and Afghanistan. The helicopter also appeared in the Seeking HAR-5 search and rescue version used by the Royal Air Force. Another version is the Seeking AEW-5 airborne early warning used by the Royal Navy. It can also be used as a utility helicopter in the Seeking HU-5 version. Today, there is a global fleet of more than 70 seeking aircraft still active with six international operators. With over 50 years of operational service, seeking has proven to be a popular and reliable platform. Its flexibility and adaptability to the environment and operational needs have helped it evolve continuously and adapt to the role. The Seeking Herald Leolacto maintained its leadership in the military aircraft market, and the next version of the aircraft became known as the Augusta Westland AW101 helicopter. My video of Westland Seeking Helicopters answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.